In this video, we're going to talk about chords. Here's an empty project on which we're going to add a new chord of C major. To do this, we're going to use the editing panel, which is the first panel on the left side of your score. We're going to click on the chord icon, which can also be activated by using the A key on your keyboard. This opens the chord window. On the left side, you can choose from the 12 available routes. You may decide to use sharps or flats. Let's start by selecting the root, which in this example is C. Once the root is selected, other options are available. The next panel allows you to choose from a list of different types of chords to use. Major, minor, augmented, diminished, etc. Let's pick the major chord. The diagram for this chord it's going to appear on the right side, and you can hear the chord by simply clicking on the play button. The bottom right side of the window shows you alternate ways of playing the same exact chord. If I select the second one, this is still a C major played in a different position. All the different ways of playing the chord are divided into different filters. In this example, we're showing all the easy ways to playing C major. Let's select the first possible fingering for C major. As you can see, our chord is constructed with a root, a major third, and a fifth. We can, of course, add some additional notes. These notes are going to appear on the right side of the nature of the chord. Let's add a ninth to the chord. The chord diagram now shows the additional notes we added, which in this case is a ninth. Hitting the play button, we'll play a C add 9. In the same way, you can keep adding additional notes to create complex chords in your project. Once you entered a chord you like, the name of this chord is going to appear on the bottom left of the window. You can change the name and then you can choose to use the diagram in the score and to show the fingering, which we will do in this example. I'm going to hit OK. Now my chord is shown in the tab. The name of the chord also appears on top of the tab, and the diagram of that chord also appears under the title of the score. If you selected the option to show the fingering of your chord and that fingering doesn't appear in your score, Simply zoom a little bit on your project by using the Zoom menu on the bottom left of your project. In the same way, you can continue entering new chords in your project by simply placing your cursor where you want the chord to appear, and use the Chord tool to add new chords to your project. Let's add another chord on the second beat. We'll add an F minor chord. On the third beat, let's enter an A chord. And on the fourth beat, we'll enter a G chord. We now have four different chords on the first measure. These chords appear underneath the title and in the score directly. Let's now start working on the second bar. I'm going to place my cursor on the second bar and let's add a C add 9. The C add 9 was previously entered, it was the chord we used. On the first beat of the first bar. There is no need to re-enter the C add 9 by using the editing panel. Let's move to the chords panel which is the fifth panel on the left side of your project and as you can see four chords appear here. These are the chords we previously created using the editing panel. I can simply enter a C add 9 on the first beat of the second bar by simply clicking on the chord that I previously created. There we go, the C add 9 has been added to the first beat of the second bar. Guitar Pro 6 also allows you to show the diagrams for every chord directly in the tab. To do this, we simply need to activate the option by going into the File menu, Style Sheet, and select the option Diagrams and Score. The Chords panel also allows you to create new chords without having to go back to the editing panel 
by simply clicking on the plus icon.